let's take a look at estimating mean and standard deviation from a histogram. So this histogram right here is the distribution of age um, among players on an adult soccer league. The distribution is unimodal. I would say that it's pretty symmetric and the mean is probably a little bit more than 24 years. Let's take a look at how to do this on the TI. We could be doing all of this by hand, but I'll show you how to do it on the calculator right now. So what you want to do is you're going to go to stat and we're going to edit these lists. Now in this first list, L1 right here, I'm going to put um, a number for each one of these bins. So I'm going to choose a number that represents this bin. So this bin is counting all of the players between the ages of 18 and 20. So it makes sense to just say that that bin has a value of 19. This bin right here I'll call 22, 24. Now this one right here, I'm going to say 27. Um, right here, we'll call that 29 and 32. Now over in L2, I want to enter the frequency, okay? So like all histograms, the, the vertical axis right here is telling me how many people fall into this bin, how many counts we've got right here. So I'm going to enter the counts or the frequency for each value here. So in the first bin, there are two players, then there are three. Here we've got nine, five, three, and one. So essentially what we're looking at in the TI right here is a frequency table. Now if we go to calculate one variable stats, the TI knows exactly what to do with this. So I do stat, calc one bar stats, but now I'm going to come down and tell it that the freak list or the frequency list is stored in L2. That's where we put it. Okay? And now when I do calculate, it's going to do exactly what we want it to do. It's going to is going to look at all 23 data points here and find the mean and the standard deviation.